Uh, I want to ask you, Suze, uh, we've, get, we've seen this special permission given uh, to Andrew and to Harry to wear their military uniforms at these vigils for the Queen. Uh, do you think this was the right decision? You know what? It doesn't matter what anybody's opinion is. The decision's been made. Um, and, of course, there are very... Um, very, I don't know, what would you say, divisive uh, groups who are going up against each other, battling this out on Facebook and on social media platforms. Should they be allowed? Is Andrew's case different from Harry's? It's been done. It's in respect to the Queen. Can we for a minute, though, talk about the Princess Royal Anne? Oh, she's in great, isn't she? In all of the hoo-ha <laughs> about Harry, Andrew and even Meghan, she has been at the forefront, leading the Queen's final journey for that six-and-a-half-hour car ride behind the casket, pain and anguish etched on her face. She's been dignified. She's the no palaver royal. She's the one who, like her mother, just gets on with it. Yeah. And last year she was named the world's um, best and hard working royal oh. with between something like four and five hundred engagements every single year. She came to Australia earlier this oh. year and not much mind was paid to that. I think she's the royal to watch. She's in her mother's image. Yeah, I was lucky enough to actually visit her home um, and I mean it's in, in England obviously. Mm. Uh, beautiful but it was the stables. I was doing a story on the stables and she's apparently down there. She's, she's mucking in. You know, you can see she's, you know, she's down to earth. Um, yeah. What stood out for you, Justin, over the, the past week? I think, look, I think for me, the, the way that people have uh, reacted to it, um, and, and I, I think a lot, I know the Republic debate is, is going to come up again, and look, that, that can all happen in good time. But I think if that is ever going to happen, we need to look at what someone can provide for 70 years, mm -hmm. 70 years, not from bouncing from election to election, but to provide a feeling like that over such a long period of time. If we can't learn a lesson from that and we just jump into the future, um, into a new future that doesn't have a, a big element of that, I'm not saying keep the rules or, or ditch the rules, I'm not saying either way, but whatever we decide on, if we can't learn from what the Queen um, has been able to do, then I think we're a little bit lost. There's a hell of a lesson that's being played out over mm. this last week for us, I think. Yeah, a lesson in, in public service, a lesson in, <laughs> in duty as well, which yeah. we may not see the like of yeah. again. And as Sue said, actually taking the time to think about it and reflect. Thank you both so much. Really interesting Thanks. insights this morning. Thank you.